Hi uh, everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today we're going back to basics commando time for Rogue Lands. You're asking yourself why. A couple reasons. One, I've been a little bit under the weather. I'm getting better, but it's affecting my throat, it's affecting my voice, it's making me cough a bit. It is what it is. Listen, everything is fine. But during that time when I haven't been recording, I have uh, been doing a little bit more research on looking up best gear. For characters not best builds Ooh, a fire leech that's gonna be nice um i've been looking up some best gear for characters because i want to be a little bit more in tune with what i should be picking up what i shouldn't especially because i want to make tier three and, and honestly i don't know if i can i don't know if i can fake my way out of tier three or like target triple barrels that looks like a pretty fun weapon to be honest with you let's take it um i don't oh what I, I might go explosive and grenade damage build, and that's going to be a part of a part of what I've learned is that a lot of things in this game scale off grenade damage, especially for Axton. And so I, I can run something like a TDR build on Axton and be very, very successful because of his grenade damage buffs. Also, Torg weapons. Torg weapons scale off of uh, explosive damage grenade damage and gun damage they scale with all three stats so like i'm thinking to myself a liquid sniper that's just an interesting name <laughs> excuse me i'm just thinking to myself like there's a lot of things in this game that don't function like clearly i don't mind going down here I really don't it's gonna help me uh, clear faster anyway Oh, yeah. Um, I wish that like more things. How about an overshield? Toss me. Oh, that's a that's a whip and a half. How come I'm getting one shot? There's been no update. Ow. It's okay. We're fine. Oh, yeah. We're also looking for more of these porcelain. Um, stab. Back off. I've been looking for more of these pressure path pressure pads for some early game weapons. I'm hear me out, hot take. I'm against the uniques and legendaries that have really cool effects. I'm a, I'm against those effects being hidden from the player. Uh, like I don't like how random things in this game scale off grenade damage. It feels like to me, anyways. Well, that's not even that it feels like to me. Like I know that like random things in this game. What's going on in my frames? Random things in this game scale of random sources. For instance, um, Gunzerker. His left hand weapon grants its critical hit bonuses and its healing properties to the right hand. I don't know how much of that I'm for. It just feels weird and inorganic to me. Like, and that's my kind of my 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 one gripe with Borderlands in general. Is that having to go online just to understand like the really cool weapon that I just got? Like I want to be excited for the weapon. I don't want to be excited to have to run tests to see what the weapon does. Like if, <coughs> like the um the doll unique pistol that fires in a six round burst that has a unique crit modifier that you would never know unless you're really paying attention to it and i get that you could just you know just aim for crits forehead i just want it on the card hot take put put the effects on the card i think redux does this and wonderland's redux i played um it definitely does that i think it's a great change like more info on the weapon card please it's like well there's already enough info no just if you're saying there's already enough info, that's your gatekeeping info from the player because you know more than the average player. And that's what I'm for. I, when I pick up a legendary or a unique, I, how about a thick ravager? If we're going to go grenade damage build, I don't think we can turn our heads at a thick ravager. I've also been trying to look at uh, weapon weapon parts just a little bit more and trying to guess like what my weapons are, parts are here. <laughs> Excuse me. Um... To me, that looks like a Hyperion stock. Let me know in the comment section if this is wrong. I'm guessing Doll Grip, Hyperion stock. Uh, everything else looks very Torgy to me. 
Let me know. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm very sorry. Either way, we know that Torg weapons now, they scale off grenade damage, which you wouldn't... That's it. That's counterintuitive. As a, as a player just playing through, you wouldn't know that. But it would be nice to have on weapon card here somewhere. CO says deals bonus explosive damage. How about deals bonus grenade damage instead? And then when we, instead of saying deal spawns explosive damage, we can see very clearly when you fire this thing, it, it comes up as explosive damage. Um, a long, a long bomb grenade with a 3.8 second. I just, a oh, fire burst could be really good. A bouncing slurge grenade. I just don't like bouncing in general, personally. Personal choice, I don't like bouncing grenades. I can make grenades work with Axon because Axon's got really good grenade scaling. Oh, nice. Um, so that's what we're going to try to do. We can go next stage. Some best weapons on Axon that I've seen are like launchers in particular. Uh, we go five points into um, impact. It's just a really good skill. I mean, we, we go first almost every single time. I don't even have a relic on, but honestly, the relics I've gotten have been major snooze fests. Let's see, rubberized fire leech. Like, let's see what it does. Maybe this is a bad enemy to try it on. <laughs> there we go. I can't wait to get some grenade damage my build as well. I've I want to try Krieg with this very same uh, setup because Krieg also has he has grenade damage bonuses and gun damage bonuses in his gun must. Not unless his um, bloodlust tree, so he can scale Torg weapons twice over, which is very, very. I think that's very, very cool. All right, let's see what you can do, friend. Let's get it. They home in, and they did good damage. To that Barb Skag, Barb Skag, I should say. Fossil Skag. How about the saliv salivating? Is it gonna one? It's, I'm sure it's gonna one shot. Can you reload Ravager? Man, if I had matching grip, I'm pretty sure the reload speed would be better. Reload speed and damage, right? Or one of them is minus reload speed and one of them is plus damage. Yeah, let me know in the comments. I, that's the stuff I don't want to look up. Like, that's just too much for me. Like, I, I, I know now that to look out for, like, certain weapons like the Ravager. But it's just from people commenting online. It's not because of, of actual, like, learning. And I get that, like, the more I play, like, that's how people learn. They just play. I get that. And I, I, I can put more time into it. Um, I'm not going to turn up my head at an infantry class mod. That's a purple. Could you back off rabbit skag, bro? I just want to look at my class. You know what? You're going to eat some grenades. I know you don't resist. I know, I know you don't resist. I also know your crit spot is your, is your mouth, and you have, you take extremely high damage from crits. You just keep your mouth closed all the time, so it's really hard. And when you do open your mouth, you knock me back. Like, Skags. Dude, Skags are the most underrated, difficult enemy in Borderlands. All right. Is this this gives me plus five in Onslaught. But we have a Ravager is my problem. What's my class mod right now? Ooh, that looks pretty nice. Oh, it was a Torque Pistol. I could have taken that. A class mod now gives me recharge rate. Uh. Let's just let's just take it for now. And five points. If we found a Torg assault rifle, and we we could go Torg assault rifle. Until then, you go Metal Storm for the fire rate. Hear me out. This is the only way. I wonder where the pressure pad is in this map. Don't know. Uh, now, I have tried a couple different runs before this, and they went okay. TDR pistols. I'm kind of on my Torg hype train, though. It's my only problem. Quick reload speed. Boss. Not bad. 
So I tried a Krieg run that died sadly, and I tried a Zero run which died unsadly because honestly, like certain, there are certain Vault Hunters that are not going to synergize with who you are as a player. Zero is kind of that way for me. At least in Rogue Lance. Like I like Zero's melee play style. But it seems pretty gear dependent. You kind of have to get the rapier. I mean, you don't, you don't, I know you don't absolutely have to, but let's see. This weapon seems not the most accurate. But compared to other torque pistols, it's a 92.2. Looks like a doll grip again. To me, that's just that, that grip just screams doll. Either way, we'll keep it. Where's my relic at? Did I, did I already get it equipped? No. Well, there, there we go. Finally. And the auto pickup. Shield capacity plus 35%. You know, that's a very welcome bonus. And in my zero game that I just played, I was actually, I was ranting about, you know, like mechanics in the game being hidden and, and stuff like that. And, kind of went off on like for instance like one that I like the pixies the pixie pistols in wonderlands for instance I think it's so cool how the reload the the fear your reloads when you throw them when you throw the weapons they become little pixies and they fly around and they scale with spell damage I think that's so so cool that makes them super viable on things like a spell shot Right, the spell shot likes to use guns and spells. Well, you could keep their guns going, and when you reload, you're getting spell damage. That's really, really cool. Um, my problem is it doesn't say it on the card. Like, you would have to be randomly trying out different weapons, doing what I, what feels like not necessarily random testing, but you have to do testing to figure stuff like that out. It's like, why is this doing so much damage? What if I take points out of spell damage? Does that, does that change the way this is acting? It's like, yes, it is. By the way, I mean, would a Kerblaster not go absolutely insane right here? Let's... Let's swap up and go reload speed and magazine size. Two of the most useful stats on Axon. Wait, that's actually insane for TDRs, I just realized. Is it not? Reload speed and magazine size? It's the two stats that matter on, on TDR weapons. Ooh, that looks like a nice flat officer rifle. But we snooze. I want to try out these grenade damage builds. Here we go, barb skagged. Fossil. It's been all skags, huh? I'm going to run out of ammo eventually. We go! TDR, TDR builds go so insanely hard. It's insane. It's just insane. The, their biggest drawback is how much ammo they consume. Reduces recoil with all gun types as well as damage dealt with grenades and rocket launchers. This is what I'm talking about. Plus 55% grenade damage is going to help us with Torg. It's going to help us with TDR. It's going to help us in ways that are just insane. And you wouldn't know that because it doesn't say it on the card. Like, like I mentioned this before. See on the card how it says deals explosive damage, right? Um, it's just that I'd rather it say deals explosive and grenade damage, because that's what it does. Why do they feel? Why do they feel it necessary to say that it deals explosive damage when it's so obvious that it deals explosive damage? Because when you hit enemies with it, the the number comes up yellow instead of gray. Like, I don't know. I guess it makes it more identifiable at a glance as an explosive damage weapon. I get that. Hmm. Maybe I'm just thinking about... Maybe I just want something to be mad at. A longbow Tesla with a 2.2. Man, it's been all flesh enemies though, so we don't really need it. Alright, let's see how this torque pistol does now that I have some grenade damage under my belt. Uh, not so great. How about this? But the t is probably going to be good. Oh, yeah. I'm sure the Ravager will be good. We'll try it out. One thing I really like about Roguelands in general is that when you find a weapon, you can keep it forever. 
because it's never going to get like this this weapon tier one tier two tier three it's never going to become bad ever you know what i'm saying because it's at my level then i don't have to worry about replacing it an adaptive shield i think is what we're gonna want a lot of the raid bosses like pirate pete's and the the dragons do um not damage it's gonna be nice to have resistances to that Oh yeah, this Ravager is pumping. I want some health? Oh, running, running towards my death. Tor because if I running towards or away from all the other enemies, would have gotten me killed there because I was looking for a health pack. So in my quest to save my life, I was actually risking it. How about a health pack drop? Thank you. Another one, please. Thank you for tanking for me. I'm gonna swipe to a, uh, a T door for this final portion here. For the boss. Wait, that's not even the boss. Dang. And I don't have my turret. I got grenades though, I'll be fine. I, I increased my grenade damage. I like how this. Wait, is it a transfusion? Did you see that? It is a fire leech. I didn't even think about that. That's going to be insanely good for us because we do increase grenade damage. Eat that, brother. You know what? Eat some Ravager. Dude, this guy is so tanky. Look how tanky he is. Jeez. Wow. The Scorpio that doesn't do explosive damage. It is really nice assault rifle, though. Let's see, grenade damage or explosive damage? Yeah, let's do the, let's go grenade damage. And let's see. The gun the gun damage and fire rate of non-elementals, Torger elementals. So I think I'm fine without it. Allows you to throw grenades while I fight for your life, yeah. And more grenade and rocket launcher rocket launcher damage is gonna be nice too. Now, do we need any of these skills down here? Ranger makes you better at everything, which is nice, but it does not increase elemental damage, explosive damage, only gun. I think reload speed could go pretty hard. Reload speed into willing, maybe? The right side tree is good to me, but it just doesn't offer us any damage. But I kind of like, I kind of like the idea of, of this class mod. This class mod that gives us the reload speed, the magazine size. Oh, I see. No, I want to run this one instead. Where's Grenadier? Oh, increase maximum grenades you can carry. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. It does. I'll go reload speed. TDR pistol, take it. It looks so dope. Look at that thing. I, don't, I gotta go look at it. Holy. Looks sick. Alright, let's shoot some tires, yeah? Tire number one. Up top. And tire number two. First, I want to climb up here. Get this red chest. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I'm a Borderlands veteran. Let's see, Torque Pistol. I'm I've kind of been let down by the. Mine has a mag larger magazine size, and the reload rate is only 0.1 slower. I can deal with a 0.1 slower reload. Alright. Number two, right here. Pop. And numero three. I believe it's back by spawn right when you right when you turn left. Okay, a tour assault rifle. Could go pretty hard. A slippery lance. I don't know. I've always been let down by Torg assault rifles. But it could be a good blend. Did I be, did I even pick up that purple class mod though? I did. I wanna give it I just wanna give it a try.
That's all. That's all. I just want to give it a try. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. What was that for? <laughs> Let's go next. Wait, no, no. I didn't shoot my tire. Oh, so sad. <coughs> Alright. Explosive damage me. So this... This assault rifle should be scaling off of grenade damage, off of explosive damage, and off of gun, gun damage. It seems to be doing okay. So we get our first kill skill to pop. Doesn't seem bad. Oh, loot enemy. Huge. All right. Curb blaster, curb blaster, curb blaster. A slaga. Um, I think I think we should play around it for at least for a little bit. Let's see. Steady, middle storm. What is steady? This is recoil with all gun types. Oh, yeah, it's respec time. Ladies and gents. It's respec time. We're going to go slaga. Fire rate slaga. Slaga me, I slaga you. We're only going to go one point into this skill, I think. Because we the grenade damage and rocket launch damage is nice. But we don't need all that much. The recoil reduction is it is nice too. Weapon swap speed and aim speed. Move speed while aiming. You no, know, we have a legendary grenade. There's no reason not to lean into it just as much. Let's talk. Tr let's toss tra tracking grenades. Yeah, because we can be, we can use the slaga for slaga, and our grenades for damage as well. I think that could be the secret. Yeah. I think that could be the secret. So let's let's go back into this tree. Get some reload speed. Not that I really need it. It is a bandit, but we we, 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 yeah, we will be firing a ton of bullets. All right, let's go. And sorry, but I keep opening chests with the wrong uh, button. I've been playing uh, Rebel Quest. That might be making an appearance on the channel. Got to be careful not to die here. Will Scorch drop the Hellfire? The Slaga is redonkulous. Look at that. I'm a bit of a reload Andy, so having extra reload speed is never a bad thing for me. Uh, transfusion grenade. I already have a better one. Sorry to tell you. And what do you say for Scorch? Since you're not going to be able to do fire damage, we just toss the Tesla on there. Slaga and Baga. Ooh. This looks, looks sick. Oh, what's up, Scorch? Oh, I, I like how Scorch has the red health bar up top. It's so much more satisfying of a boss fight whenever a boss has it. Change my mind. Let's get a little bit of a um, fire rate. Let's see. Toss, toss my turret back there. Get a little bit of fire rate in this dump in the scorch. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, could this be the? Could this be the secret? Oh, a straight shooting, unforgiven. Oh, 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 oh man, look at this bad, Larry. That looks insane. It's a hell of a thing. I'm going to go look up what this thing does online just to make sure I'm making fully use of its effects. Okay, so the Unforgiven functions very similarly to a Jacob's Sniper, uh, where it gets an increased critical multiplier. And it's not as high as the Jacob's Snipers, but it's still good. <coughs> and the Slaga is a high percent chance to slag... A SMG. Oh, a hail, a heartbreaker, and a boom puppy. Holy molly. Okay, so the boom puppy would go insane with their explosive damage, assault rifle builds. The hail would be really good. These are some really, really good weapons, everybody. So the slag is really good for a slag and swap because it fires three projectiles at 24%, which three times 24 is 72. So each time I pull the trigger, 
72% chance to slag. But it does reduce bullet damage. And I could swap to something like the... Something like the Unforgiven and hit a, a crit. Or I could swap to something like Tiny Tina's Boom Puppy. Oh my... Imagine the deeps, bro. Imagine the deeps. Or to, sw or to swap to something like the Heartbreaker, which heals me up. I like the idea of that. Now the hail, the hail for me is a weapon that's kind of, it's interesting. Does it do explosive damage? Because if it does, I mean, if it scales with grenade or explosive damage, it's going to be insanely good for me. I'm going to look that up too. And so, so the hail does count with a grenade damage bonuses. So, which is insane. And it also is a moxie weapon, which means it might heal us. I'm not so sure if that's true, but what makes it, what makes it hard to use is the, is the, the shot pattern, which I totally get. But we have some really high-powered explosive grenade damage scaling ARs now. So we could go Slaga for Slaga or just keep the hail out. The Heartbreaker for healing unless the... I like the Unforgiven, but maybe it's just not the right run. I also wanted to use the Boom Puppy. So I, I usually never do this. But let's unequip... Yeah, let's unequip a launcher for now, and we'll go Heartbreaker. Is it time for another respec? No, I don't think so. Let's do weapon swap speed. So I can. Oh, I don't need the. I don't need weapon swap speed anymore. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be using the hail. Right. Let's do gun damage. Let's do magazine size with the rifles. Let's do it. It's it's a big bonus. Let's do grenade damage scaling. Um. Let's do more grenade damage. It allows me to throw grenades while I'm fighting for my life. And let's go reload speed. So now these weapons should be popping off. Like actually popping off. Okay. Come on. This is totally the run. And I think we're making more educated decisions because of the fact that we I did a little bit more research. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's that was horrible. Maybe the Oh no. Okay, this is not going well. Toss some grenades out. It's the transfusions. The transfusions. Also, I want to put on this assault rifle. Man, that hail was insanely hard to use. Revised fire leech. Toss it out. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. The leech will heal us, right? Seek out and transfuse me, please. They're not is the leech not a transfusion grenade? What's going on here? Well, oh, I'm already full health though. Oh, the that guy is tanky. What if I use the hail on him? Nice, he's gone. Where are you going? Oh man, using this thing is so insanely hard. A little bit lower, a little bit lower. Oh, we got him. How low is he? <laughs> Get wrecked, brother. Oh, yo! Aim at the ground. Aim at the ground. Yes. I'm officially a Borderlands player. Oh, yo! You're only a Borderlands player once you've learned how to use the hail. Look at me just. <laughs> look at me just peppering those bullets up there. That's crazy. The only problem is I can't tell what their health's at. So I really can't tell how much damage I'm doing. I don't I can't make educated decisions on whether or not to switch targets. Go down, brother. Oh wow. Yeah, when I'm down sight, it gets really, really difficult. Dude, what are you doing up there? Yes, there we go. Uh, what you got for me? Reload speed, magazine size, grenade damage. I mean, the grenade damage is nice. I kind of like what we got with this assault rifle. One. Even though my... Uh, I'm burning through assault rifle ammo like it's my day job. Go down, brother. Go down. Go down. I like the idea of the boom puppy. I just don't know if it does any damage. Oh, gosh. How do I get up there? Oh, here we go. 
They toss me. You hear me out, boom puppy. I'm not so sure about it. There we go. Reload me. You got this, brother. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. A little bit of heartbreaker never hurt anybody. Keep me alive. Let's go, baby. Here's a question. Was the was the slaga healing me or no? What's the slaga the hail, I mean. I'm gonna get hit by a train and die. Oh yeah. Get heartbreaker, friend. Alright. What are my choices? So I, I'm both these weapons I'm not I'm not super thrilled about. I think the hail could be good maybe in a um a, a boss type situation, but I I think honestly, in my heart of hearts, I don't like it. I don't like either of them. And that's it's nothing against the weapons. They're really cool. The boom pupping just needs to do more. To me, that that was just not it. So we're gonna do s s slag and swappa. Let's do slag and swappa. We'll keep the hail. Will we? I'm not too sure. I have five points. Let's throw them in. One point in reload speed. I want the weapon swap speed now that I'm going to be using Slaga. Yeah. The weapon swap speed's going to be nice. Okay. It's just that the hail, it's just so hard to use. I'm not too sure if I want to be dealing with it. But it's going to be nice, I think, against a, like a, like a lot of different, types, especially an area like this where the fire damage isn't going to be doing that much for me. Aim, aim low, aim low. Swing low, sweet chariot. Right, we just gotta get through these first enemies and then we can... We can destroy the EXP loaders just by walking backwards. That one's gone. Just walk backwards. We don't want these EXP loaders to get any damage off in our turrets as well. We can help it. Okay, the, okay, the hail actually does a ton of damage. One right behind me. Just hitting the shots is the hardest thing. Oh, ouch. Oh, big ouch. Alright, now we're gonna find out if this Liga heals me. Not this Liga, the hail. It is. It is healing me. Ow. Let's toss some grenades while I'm fighting for your life, even though they're just fire. Oh, baby. Let's go. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, okay. Maybe I was wrong about the hail. Maybe I underestimated it. Against big enemies, it's it actually kind of rips. Like enemies that you can actually hit. Like this guy right here. Like this laddie. Oh, that's, that's big damage. It's, it's unfortunate that I can't see how much damage it's doing, but that's okay. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. All right, cooldown rate, max health. Um, I think because we're healing ourselves, the the max health. I mean, nice. But having a lot of max health actually is kind of a nerf, is it not? Right, isn't that kind of a nerf? Because then I I don't get above health gate. Hmm, something to think about. Definitely something to think about. So maybe I'm only disappointed in the boom puppy. I like how ricochets though. It is cool. Hmm. We'll, we'll be happy to have a corrosive grenade. Oh, but the, the gate, it didn't open. All right, let's go next. I th this is not a boss round, is it? Tundra Express, no. But it, it, it's going to be more small enemies. So I think I might just heartbreaker these lads, these fools. Like, well, we're going to be then the YG put points into... Why'd you put points into oh, assault rifle magazine size? And for that, I'm like, don't worry about it. All right, I'm the one who has to deal with that decision, not you. 
So you don't have to worry about that. Trust me. Okay. Let's go. These are all fleshy enemies. We haven't. We have a a weapon for them, and it works out because fleshy enemies are also smaller, so they counter that the hail. There's more than one type of synergy than just elemental. But it also just so happens that the Heartbreakers only fire. Let's go. Like, we're, look, we got nothing to worry about. Just because we're not... It's like, well, you're not optimizing your build for this... Why not just respec for the zone? Listen, the zone's done. I, I, I don't need to optimize. It's over. Do I have 10 points to spend? Holy cow. Okay. Um... The flexibility that this, this this character offers me is just it's just so insane. Let's take the we always want better shields. Um dealing damage from an enemy causes you to regen health. I don't think we need it. Personally, because we have two moxie weapons. I want the increased gun damage. Movement speed 108 movement speed is ridiculous. It's basically double. A little bit bad in the double. Well, that looks nice. Can replace my launcher? Yeah, let's do it. Another stat I should add into the card is missile speed. <coughs> Especially for core weapons. Okay. I have a slag out. I haven't really been using it, but. I mean, I just have other weapons that I that I are fine. And I'm definitely gonna want to increase my maximum ammo with assault rifles. Slag damage. Question: Do these elemental relics increase the damage of all like what enemies that are slagged? Or I'm pretty sure that like that's an insanely big damage buff for my hail, right? Based off what just happened to those enemies, I'm assuming it is. We're going to use something else, though, to shoot these these masks. There's one right there. Got it. One back here. And being down here is like certain death. Let's just toss some grenades. But they won't explode unless they find an enemy, though. Shoot, that's a mistake. All right, I need you to go, guys. I need you guys to go find an enemy. Oh, they explode. We're fine. Aim low. There we go. Yeah, the, I think the increase in slag damage is going to be in, insanely big for us. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're just burning through a ton of ammo. It's the only problem. Oh, my kill skills. Oh, he's he's tanky lad, huh? But let you just aim at my turret for a second. No, aim at my turret for a second. <laughs> no, the, the turret. The turret, friend. Listen, if you're gonna keep charging me, you, you leave me no choice. Let's just heartbreaker this guy to death. Actually, let's not. Let's slaga and baga. What are you doing, buddy? Where are you rolling? Oh, a rapier? I mean, that's nice, but... Not, 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 as, not as nice as it could be. Uh, team fire rates. I kind of like the assault rifle damage one I got going now. Magazine size plus 40%. It's really helping with the hail. Let's do some more grenades. Increase gun damage and melee damage while your shields are depleted. That could be really nice. Could be really, really nice. But it's a tough decision. All right, final mask. There. Here we go. Let's see, an absorb shield. I'm not, I'm not against an absorb shield at all. A turtle shield, um, a 3.02. Here's my thing. I actually think I want less maximum health. That way, I can I can better manipulate health gate. So we're gonna take it. And yeah, we're good. I don't think I want to increase my max health at all. I want to be as small as possible. All right, Saturn, you're a big laddie. I respect your game. I respect your name. But I gotta burst it down, brother. 
Okay, that's not bad damage, but what we need to do is we need to get a kill first on something else. And now... Get the Slagger to heal us, or the Hail to heal us. There we go. Make use of our kill skills here. This is a giant target to shoot at. Okay. Use our heads and our fingers to turn that into a pretty easy run, to be honest with you. Alright, what do we get? A Pimper now? Agreed. And a 1340. Listen, the Pimper now is really, 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 really good. But I'm gonna save it for when I'm running a zero. Should I though? I mean, I think I should at least give it a chance. At least give it a chance. Because it is corrosive. I do know. I don't have anything against major armor targets, so. That's a big launcher. Holy moly. Alright, we got five more points. While my shields are depleted. I mean, that's going to be a really important time to have gun damage. I'm not going to lie to you. Not going to lie to you. It's going to be a super important time to have gun damage. We can go next. Thank you, Saturn. For everything you've done for us. Let's talk to you. Let's pull the box once. Let's see. Logan's gun or the Hornets? Oh, we have to drop some uh, items. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, y'all ready? Um, that's pretty sick. Straight line, basically. All right, got, got a couple weapons. And a plasma caster as well. We have a lot of good options for fire, though. All right, so what do we want to do? Let's, let's use the hail. Let's max out grenades and assault rifles. I can't. Um, shoddy on the small map. And some launcher on the launcher. And let's design our character. We'll see you guys in a second. All right, this is basic Andy, my axe. And he's looking pretty stellar out there. <laughs> it's just the default of everything. But honestly, I feel like this has kind of been my back to basics run. All right, we can go next. Ooh. Now, do... Do plasma casters, they do splash. Do they get grenade damage bonuses? Oh gosh, this guy resists. I need shock damage. I need shock damage. I don't have a good source. Not good. Hmm. Will I be okay? Is the question. I will give it a shot. Again, this is this is just tier one, so. We've been taking our time making the right decisions, in my opinion. Right, let's try this out. Throw it out. Get some grenades out there. It's only a matter of time before something else dies, right? So I'm not too worried about it. Toss me. Look okay. It's not doing the most damage in the world, but it's doing something. Hey, you stop that. You resist slag pretty heavily. It's a tough life. How about... No, I can't use that. How about a little bit of Heartbreaker? That's doing... That's doing a little bit more, honestly. It's, qu it's actually doing quite a lot bit more. I wonder... If I put on something like the, which is the, the Logan's done, the Logan's gun shoots launcher shots, does it not? How does the Logan's gun work? I thought it shot launcher shots. Either way, it's doing, it's doing nothing. Why does this gun suck so much? Either way, I'm taking it off. I'm sure it does something cool, but we're in the midst of combat. Let's plasma cast for this, this bad area up. Giant crab boyd. Oh, it's a TD or as well. It's pretty dope. That's me. Oh, what's up, homie? Long time no see. Toss. I need some little bit of slagger. And a little bit of Baga. Hmm. Is the Heartbreaker doing the absolute most? 
Oh, it feels like it now. Ow. All right, grenades. Give me some kills, please. Dang, this guy is so tanky. All right, my shield's about to go down, which means I will be getting some extra gun damage. Just none of these enemies take any damage from fire. So it's actually kind of frustrating, to be honest with you. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. Look at that critical hit damage. All right, you, you guys got to eat some more grenades. All right, turn it out. I still don't like what you guys are doing. This actually could be a good time for a hail. Or maybe a launcher. Not bad. Eat this. What's some of that? And some of that, huh? Why did Chromark steal all of his health, though? That's not cool. It took me a long time to get that health down. Alright. But if I can land these crits, he dies a lot faster. I gotta get behind him. The turret goes super hard for that. Get outside the purple circle. Don't get hit by the purple circle. There we go. Yes, show me that crit spot, brother. Only crit spot. Whoa. What? A okay, what was that? Come on now. Oh, that's going to hurt. Very real chance I get knocked off the edge. Come on. Oh, he's going to heal back up again. Those Vark incinerators, man. I know that they were mean to fire, but I just want them to die anyway. Okay, the amount of knockback I'm experiencing. I just want to kill the incinerators. SMG accuracy. Could be good. The music died, though. I think I was taking too long in the fight. That's okay. Listen, <laughs> it's not a race. Go down, brother. Resist slag, why don't you? Resist slag. Resist explosive. Just they, in my opinion, they gave way too much element. Aim freezes out of me here. I'm completely. fine with it. <laughs> Maybe it's because there's so many enemies and they all resist are immune to fire. I can't do anything about it. Uh, so let's toss all my grenades down. See what happens. Come on. Please heal up. There we go. Now we're doing some deeps. Oh, it's a very real chance I don't survive this. Oh, what a shot. Man, I was really hoping for some more damage there. It's just tough. Not having a shock weapon. Please. Whew, I am struggling. Come on. Finally. Oh, I need a better shock weapon. I do. Alright, what did you got? What do you got for me? Anything good? Nope. Does not look like it. Let's see over here, we got some more stuff. What's amazing? I don't see it. Dang it. Oh, I see Legendary Class Mod, finally. Let's see. Burn damage, Ignite Chance, Max Health. I... I don't get it. Like... Burn damage, that's so bad. The Big Boom Blaster.
to drop a shield booster. I think that could be good. Or the Retcher. Hmm. The Big Boom Blaster. Or the Retcher. Go Big Boom Blaster. I believe every time we pick up a, a shield pack, it causes an explosion. It can be very, very helpful for us. I, I just I snooze on the on the burn damage um, class mod. Let's look, let's look at let's even look at the where to go. Dude, this this map is so hard to see in. All right. Like even if I equip it, let's see what skills it gives me. Imp Imbot or impact and expertise. Like, I snooze all of these skills is my only problem. And the fact that... Ugh, it's just not good. I'm sorry. It's nobody's fault. Just pretty, some pretty disappointing loot there. As well. I was hoping for something that could really, like, to evolve my run into something else. But luckily, I know this, this uh, map by heart. Wait. Unless I've changed something. All right, let's go with tier two. Let's push. Sure, we won't make it that far anyway. 50 minutes into the run, pushing tier two. <coughs> it's my decision to make. Need a little bit of water though. A little water break. Okay. These red chests can can help us power up, please. Shield capacity. Now I think the slag damage one is nice. We just ran into like, oh, the critical splisher. That looks awesome. This thing has got to do splash grenade damage. Oh ho, ho, ho. yeah. Do do e tech weapons do grenade damage? I'm actually going to go look that up right now. Okay, so I resorted to ChatGPT to find the answers. And ChatGPT believes that this weapon is high, very likely to benefit from grenade damage bonuses, similar to a Torg. However, plasma casters do not. Um, that's what I got from it. And that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> but I do want to try out the splash, this blaster and... And to be honest, that if that means dropping a skill like or dropping a class mod like this is sorry for damage one, that's just what it means. Because honestly, the hail is okay, but let's. I I, I still like the hail. We're still gonna use it for now. But let's just say that we're open to other options. I want to thank ChatGPT. I actually told it that I don't need all the extra fluff in its answers because it kept saying things like, like, the, like, just because the plasma caster doesn't scale the grenade damage doesn't mean it's a bad weapon. And I'm like, I know it's not a bad weapon, brother. <laughs> so I told it to stop. That's told that I don't need all the extra fluff. And it said, it's sorry for the extra information. No, it doesn't scale the grenade damage. Um, all right. Perfect. But I did think it was interesting how it said that this weapon is highly likely to. Extra shot chance? Extra shot chance? Yeah. I think we take. Ow. That hurt a lot. And there's only one enemy. Oh, thank God he jumped down here. All right. Yeah, extra shot chance, me For sure. For sure. Cause, especially because my uh, the like I was using was slag damage. Was 34%. Get shotgun. How come he's not taking any damage? Probably because I'm hitting him in the front. I can toss a couple of these nades out. Oh, big move blaster. What's up? Maybe the big move blaster just does something when the shields get broken. Wow, my first... Crazy, my first power up this game. Who would have thunk it? Woo! -hoo. That guy got blasted. A stabbing spitter could be good. It is Torg. I want to give it a shot, but 
I got so many good options now. Uh, do I care about a second gun that does? Hmm. I do care about slag. I do. Don't don't get me wrong. So let's take the points. Let's see. And now that we have a point into Battlefront, I kind of want another point into. I'll count some points in the century. Nukes are also going to be fun. Longbow nukes. Are <laughs> Longbow nukes could be very, very fun. All right. Looking good. I could F2 and go next section, but I still want to loot. So I, I don't have a good class mod. Cooldown rates. What does Battlefront do? In Sentry, yeah. I mean, oh, I need one point in Sentry. I think the next stage. I, I can, I could, if I can get a lot of cooldown, I can consistently like throw my turrets and do. I, it's getting more gun damage when my turrets are out. It's getting me nice. And they'll be slagging. And they'll be nukes. And they'll be longbow. Just incorporating them into my gameplay will be good. Let's hop down to ASAP and collect our red chest down here. Uh, I'm good. My launch right now does more. All right. Remember, I got longbow turrets now. They're not lobbed. Eat that, brother. Who else wants one? Who else wants a nuke to the to the dome ski? Oh, I don't have. I don't have two turrets on my. Oh, later. <laughs> Oops. Hit my stuff up pretty hard there. Gotta be careful. I saw some grenades. They'll, they'll heal me up. Dear Furious Cabin Boy. This shotgun goes crazy, by the way. I'm gonna put that out there. Oh, a plump torpedo. I wanna give it a shot. Oh, grenade. Back up. What you got for me? Okay, we got a kill. Let's check out its damage now. That's nothing to scoff at. You know what? While we're here, we don't need this. We could just go reload speed magazine size. I wish I still had. Because it, it is giving us plus six into our grenade damage scaling. Which is good. Okay. Let's toss a, a longbow sentry out there. Oh, that is nice. Anchor man. Every now and then I go up against an anchor man. Eat some splash damage, brother. Maybe some grenade damage as well. I got all the answers, brother. Dude, he is tanky. What a tanky lad. He's gonna kill me. Look, my my build isn't even that bad. What could be wrong? All right, let's let's slap back on the hail. Let's see, hail me, hail me. Let's go. Let's stop messing around. Dude, go down. Not even low. Holy cow. What does a man got to do around here to get some damage? I feel like I shouldn't be doing so little, but who knows? Let's take some rockets. Weapon spot speed and aim speed. How about... How about makes me better just by everything? Yeah, I think that'll be good. Let check this chest over here, and then we can head out. Sticky Lob Slag Singularity. Longbow Tesla. 2.9 second fuse time, though. I'll take them both. And the, the Borderlands symbol is right there. On this map. Oh, what you got for me? Extra shot chance. A little bit higher. We like that. We go next. I'm just shocked that the hail isn't doing more damage. That's my only thing. That's my only thing. 
with how hard it is to use, to me, it feels like it should be doing more. Let's not give up on it quite yet. Let's go back to our Sorrowful class mod. Remember that it, just remember that it heals us, okay? We don't have to figure it all out in one one go. It's better against enemies that we can hit. And the raid boss that we did fight resisted slag. It was tough. Do we need the extra shot chance, or would we rather have just have the slag damage against these laddies? Okay, yeah. Here we go, here we go, come on. Eat this big boom blaster. So I don't get it. My shield was What does the big boom blaster even do? Ultimate badass. Ultimate badass. We're I gotta kill this dozer. 